नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवेकनिंग विद ब्रह्मा कुमारी वेलकम सिस्टर ओम शांति आई एम गोइंग टू रीड समथिंग वेरी नाइस फॉर यू माय लव इज अ गिफ्ट एंड आई एक्सपेक्ट नथिंग इन रिटर्न व्हाट यू डू विद दैट गिफ्ट इज एंटायरली अप टू यू नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस आई टेक ईच ऑपरचुनिटी to decide who i am in spite of you rather than finding out who i am in response to you how beautiful and i prefer to grow in love to grow in love rather than shrink in response this is so beautiful because it gives us the concept of my state of mind my loveful nature irrespective of your responses and then if my state of mind is irrespective of everybody's responses then i know who i am in spite of them in spite of what they say to me in spite of what they say about me and because i know who i am i will keep growing it doesn't mean we are perfect right now but once we master this thing of being ourselves irrespective of others responses in spite of them means in spite of they thinking anything about you in spite of their reactions about you yeah their reactions so in spite of their reactions today it's the vulnerabilities the minute somebody says something and i go like this i start feeling maybe i'm like this or i get hurt so i don't know myself in spite of them i know myself in response to them that's what it says so that means when they behave in a particular manner and then the way i respond uh-huh. i know myself the last line was i choose mm. to grow in love rather than shrink in response today most of us would shrink in response because different people are going to respond in different ways and if the response is not what i am comfortable with i will go like this that's what what we are talking about sulk 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 different things need not shrink, necessarily shrink. always be sulk it can be anger it can be frustration it could be deep hurt it could be jealousy it's always shrink means the soul is becoming weaker weaker, weaker in response to other people around but the soul who starts living thinking and feeling irrespective of other people they will only grow in that value it will keep on increasing so let's just pick the last line and let's remember i would rather grow in love rather than shrink in response to other people how beautiful it is very beautiful but not just beautiful it's very very deep very deep mm-hmm. and most of us would share these things with each other now let's keep sharing it with ourselves you know keep on saying it to ourselves when situation Can you give comes. me the, give me an example of how not to uh, what is the meaning of in spite of you maybe a person in a family or in in a relation or uh, in a workplace in how can you be of, let's say somebody is criticizing me hmm and another place somebody is appreciating me two different reactions right somebody is praising somebody is criticizing somebody is talking very sweetly somebody is being very rude somebody is being very humble and polite and obedient and somebody is being very arrogant and disobedient these are reactions now my i know who i am irrespective of their response which means if i remember that i am a pure loveful peaceful soul and my here is independent of these reactions then i will remain in that state of who i am irrespective of how they behave let's say if you know who you are as an actor need not be the best actor in the world see sometimes we take this to be as arrogance you think you're perfect no we don't think we're perfect but we know where we are and we know where we are heading 
So you know your capacity, your potential as an actor. A you student know. of cinema. Yeah, but you know where you stand. You would know where you stand in terms of your performance. Similarly, you know yourself as a person. Where you stand in terms of your qualities, strengths, weaknesses, everything. We are aware of our qualities. We are also aware of our weaknesses. So I know who I am. And then most important, I know who I am originally now because spirituality gives us that knowledge. I know who I am. So now once I know who I am, then what I feel about myself will not be dependent on other people's reactions and my feeling will not keep changing in response to them. Because if it keeps changing, let's say if somebody is praising me and I'm feeling very good, this could be ego. And if somebody is criticizing me, and I'm getting hurt. This is also ego. But both are weaknesses. Both are weaknesses. So which means in both cases, I'm shrinking. In both cases, it's not necessary that only in criticism, I'm going to shrink. But even if I'm dependent on another person's appreciation for feeling good, even then I'm shrinking because the soul is not using its own power to feel good. It is depending on somebody else like Happiness is my nature, but I'm not creating happiness. I'm dependent on a movie to feel nice. So I'm becoming weaker. So dependency will shrink me inside. And if I choose to grow in love means no dependency. I am a loveful being and I choose to grow. It means I choose to use it in my every interaction, irrespective of what's happening around me. You know, when we are not in the face of any stimulus, these things appear easy. They sound very nice because they are the truth. And every human being likes truth because innately every soul is this quality. Every yeah. soul is this line. And that's why I share it with anybody and they'll say, beautiful, sounds very nice because it connects them to the truth. So it sounds very nice, it feels very nice when everything around is perfect, we're sitting in silence at home, reading it. Challenge is to remember it when the situation, when the situation arises. So how, what, how we can start working on it is remember it, use it in a situation, but now sometimes I might not be able to use it in a situation in the sense I don't apply it in the situation and I get hurt, I get angry. Then. After that, sit and use this sentence. Even that will help. Okay, out of 20 things, today I reacted or did this out of 10. Okay, today 5, then 4, then 3. Later on, uh, it will go on. You know, it will. But important is that when we work contradictory to this line, let's say today I got hurt yeah. about something. But that you can uh, do a, a thing, think in the evening, I did. No, not in the evening. Then and there, then and there, because it's an illness, if not addressed, then it will stay with me yeah. and the it will, the after effects, it will make me weaker for the next situation. Let's say you said something to me and I created hurt and now if I don't sit back, review, mm -hmm. take responsibility, then I am in that low phase. Okay, after 10-15 minutes, I'll say, I'm feeling better. I'm fine now. But I haven't resolved it. It's there, it's just that I pushed it a little at the back, thinking that there are other things to do now. So, I can't waste too much time thinking about this and just sitting in a corner. Let's get back to work. If I don't resolve it, and most important, if I don't tell myself, I created this. And if I live with that blame thing that they are responsible for my hurt, then after another half an hour, there will be another situation. Yeah, then, then, then there'll be a bigger blast. If the boss says something to you and you go out thinking that it is resolved, but still it is lingering in your mind and the, the, your junior had it then, you lash no, out at him. Not, yeah, because, because something happens there. Something will happen there. Because that is continuing this plus that. No? Right. So that's why it's very important to resolve. And it wouldn't take more than a minute yeah. to just sit back. So ne we shouldn't get into this habit of, I'll work on it in the evening or late at night and let the whole day pass. It's like mistake after mistake after mistake. And then in the night, I'll sit and review all my mistakes. Then the probability would be that I would have made 10 mistakes in the day. 
But if after the first mistake, very good point. I sit back and I correct myself. Just and go like this. Chances are that instead of ten, we can make only three. Only three. Chances are only one also, because I just am aware now. And most important is I not only resolve it. I strengthen myself by taking the personal responsibility. Yeah, that's a great point. Because whenever I get hurt, I don't have, I don't remember to tell myself this is because of me. I always feel someone is responsible for my hurt, even though I've heard it a thousand times. I always feel I am not like this. I wouldn't have got upset for like this. But they said something like that. They just keep on saying it again and again and again. So I always, in a very subtle way. Blame other people, so that one minute is needed to sit back and say, "They did what they did. This was your creation. Now you have a choice." That one minute shifts me from the victim mode to the master mode, and now the master is ready for the next situation. Even if I feel okay, I smile, I say I've cleaned everything, I remain in the victim mode. So it just depends where the button's gone, hmm. which mode. If I don't change it back to the master mode, then the whole day the button will remain in the victim mode, and then smallest of triggers, and I'm ready to be victim to everyone else. And then in the night, I'll say, "Poor me." So that poor me feeling is because Again, poor I, me means you another weak uh, position. Another weak thing. Another weak thing. So it's very important because during the day. There are different emotions that we feel, and like we saw jealousy, and we saw anger, and another very deep one, which is more subtle, not seen very visibly by mm. other people, mm. is hurt. See, anger very visible, you can see it. Oh, they're so angry, but hurt is not visible to everybody. Definitely, not the magnitude of the hurt is not visible to everybody. But it's only and magnitude is also different with different peoples in different days, different situations. There are different aspects in which we can get hurt. Like a simple hurt would be, I feel insulted. They insulted me. You know, even the vocabulary is in the blame game. They insulted me. So if somebody said something to me, a word, a sentence, and that one word, and we say their words really hurt me. If you see our entire vocabulary. Is like this, and that's why every time we are saying it, we are reinforcing our old belief system. So, along with changing our thoughts, I think it's also nice to take care on the way we speak. You know, because every time we say they hurt me, every time we say they insulted me, I'm reinforcing my old belief systems. So, I normally this practice this. This is what you this. mean by the way we speak. You mean to say old belief system? No, if I say. Let's say I'm hurt right now hmm. because of something you said to me in the morning, and I, I'm saying it to myself, and I'm probably also saying it to other people around me. He insulted me today. Hmm. Immediately, I'm reinforcing my old belief system that this what I'm feeling just now is because of them. His words hurt me because of them. Now shift. Even if I'm not able to shift in my thoughts, in my words first. What is that? And which means they said such and such a thing. I created hurt in response. They said such and such a Whatever thing. Whatever the line, they said such and such a thing to me. And I created. I created the hurt. I allowed them to hurt myself. No, I did not allow them to hurt me because even if I allow them, they can't hurt me. Only I can hurt myself. I allowed myself. Yeah, that's okay. I allowed myself to get hurt. That's all. But even I allowed myself to get hurt is not right. I chose. I chose to create hurt. Creation is very important. The word because I personally Who feel. Who would like to choose, sister? We all choose. Do you think you like it to choose? It's not about liking. I just didn't explore the other option. Because this was fast, easiest. Again, I do not agree with you when you say I choose it. I will not like to choose it. Good. I was so when, hurt. I was good. hurt a few months back because somebody called me on the stage, and I felt very bad about something. So yeah. So you I, mean to say I I choose it? And then did you get okay after some time? Because a lot of counseling by friends. And then what did they say to you? 
they said uh, they are like that and they said those people have so much of responsibility and they are irritable and they are like that and day in and day out they have to meet thousands of people and so many things are in the back of their mind so and you were okay so i was okay means, after a few days time is my choice again mm. what happened a new way of thinking shared by somebody else and you took that new way of thinking and you changed here i chose yeah i took the new lines somebody could have chosen not to take it yeah there i have a choice to agree with that friend of mine or say you get out mm -hmm. i'm in a bad mood mm -hmm. don't irritate me more it's a choice choice here is a choice yeah but earlier when if somebody if here is it a choice mm -hmm. then every time it's a choice no if if my response is my choice see this is how we become aware gradually if once i understand the mechanism of how something works then it works like that every time it doesn't work in different ways at different times i just need to know the dynamics you could have also chosen not to listen to them you could have also chosen to shout back at them that you move out from here i don't want to talk See, to anyone here i have time to choose exactly so a that's a long time fine. hours beautiful so all i need is that little gap to choose as of now because my mind thinks very very fast we haven't slowed it down we never practiced and you shared with us last time the mind is not rested so it's like this it doesn't have time and when it's moving like this and some stimulus just hits from outside it doesn't even pause to choose its response so it gets hurt now once you're aware that later on when the mind was calmer hmm. cooler so now you had a choice and once you had a choice you were consciously choosing what you want to right now just take this one experience don't take too many things at one experience this one experience is enough to apply to every situation okay if i had a choice that day at that time and i chose this response it means i am the creator of my response and i have a choice i just need to remember this forget the other hurt part just remember this that that day i chose this response now next time something happens let's say for example again something happens and you create hurt now that time sit with yourself may not have friends around you every time and then sit back and again tell yourself okay this could be the reason this could be the reason this could, and you will see that your emotion will change and again you'll tell yourself i have a choice this gradual working on ourselves will prove to ourselves that we make choices of the way we respond once this equation is fixed it means it works every time it's just that sometimes we are working in the automated mode and sometimes we are working in a more aware mode automated mode is it a choice automated mode is only because i forgot that i'm making a choice it's like i set the knob i forgot that i'm making a choice i forgot that i can make a choice yeah but now i'm reminding myself it's not i can make a choice even the hurt that i created that time was my choice somebody else would have not got hurt you so easily say that the hurt i created this is the easiest way to start working on ourselves something suddenly falls on your head and you shout yes and you cry yes i i i choose to cry i choose to cry shout physical if somebody beats me they can hit me here because i'm vulnerable physically i am in contact with somebody else they can hit me they can beat me they can even do anything with me physically mm. inside what to hit how much to hit and for how long to keep hitting nobody else can hit me inside and what about a small child a 3 months old or a 6 months old you make noise ah in front of why should the, that child cry start crying is that child also knows how to create how to, to choose create? yes because anything uncomfortable it is uncomfortable so where is the child has that knowledge of choosing that is a costume as a child you mean to say that you talk you talk about the past life experience here it's yeah. not about past life you know when we make it sound like this we find it very difficult to believe just look at the child costume as a child 
it's just the same soul. soul it's just the same soul with the same experiences with the same dynamics of working with the same belief systems which it had in the previous costumes it just changed a costume just look at it like that and it's very easy to accept why somebody is behaving like that it's just a soul it's i here yesterday another dress like this dress the costume we wear when we change costumes belief systems don't change no today i'm in this sari today i'll be tomorrow i'll be in another one today you're in another shirt tomorrow in another one belief systems won't change it's not difficult to accept that we'll say obviously the costume changed i am the same person we won't say in my previous shirt i was thinking like this <laughs> we don't need to make it so complicated we in just my say previous shirt. yeah we just say yesterday i was thinking like this but it was i i so yesterday i was thinking like this 20 years back i was thinking like this 60 years back i was thinking like this and another 100 years back i was thinking like this it's i it's Me, as soul. simple as i i the soul when we look at it like this on a bigger perspective it becomes so easy to understand it really becomes so easy and then it also becomes easy to understand that these deep belief systems have not been all created only in this shirt you know, they, we, we find it very difficult to understand ourselves because we say, when did I create this belief system? Yeah. When did this happen? When did I create this sanskar of being so sensitive and getting hurt? I really just don't remember when it happened because we are seeing ourselves only in this shirt. And now, just look at myself. This is not me. I'm on a long journey. And sometimes, somewhere, I created it. Today, I have the knowledge and the choice to change. And so today, I start working on myself. Three types of sanskars which each soul has. Past sanskars, sanskars got from family, parents, and sanskars got from environment. The company. Nationality, caste, culture, school, friends, environment. All three, very, very powerful. Very powerful. And what about the fourth one which I create, I choose? Willpower. Willpower, sanskar, is higher than all these three. So even if you have very tough sanskars of past births, even though you had a challenging childhood and so certain sanskars got created, even if you lived in an environment hmm. which was very challenging and so a whole lot of sanskars got created, even if all these three put together are really really tough this fourth one the willpower can override them because there is also a reason for that because the original sanskar is purity Does if the original back? no if the original sanskar was not purity this one willpower wouldn't be able to override well, if the these original four. sanskar was not purity and peace nobody would like to go to a place uh, a, a retreat like this or a temple or a uh, so many places they go for finding peace. It's like to this. To find themselves. Yeah, no? it's like this. There is this stack of books on a table. The original book right below is my purity, love and peace. Then came another book on that, my past sanskars. Then came another book on that, my family genetic sanskars. My and friends, then came a book on that, my environment. environment. Now what is willpower? Willpower just means pulling that lower book out. out. Willpower doesn't mean creating a new sanskar. If I had to create a new book and make it stand on these three, it's tough. In fact, more or less impossible. But when you already have it below, then why it's should you create a new one? This is what it is. This is what I have to tell myself. I'm very angry. Anger is my hardcore sanskar. I cannot change it. I cannot change it. If I feel I have to change it, I cannot change it. But if I remember peace is right there, just the file below. Yeah, but it's I very painful. People it. say, I don't know how to change it. And it is tough for anybody. If we are saying to ourselves that this is my nature, I cannot change it. It's because nobody reminded us that the original file below is there. You're not supposed to be getting it from anywhere else. And neither are you supposed to be making any effort to create it. 
it's right there. So one has to remind himself Absolutely. that the treasure is down below. Absolutely. Just use the treasure you have, take it out, you're already rich. Absolutely, you're already rich because you're a perfect, pure, beautiful soul, abundant beauty. Then a it's child very of abundance. Absolutely. And that's why Raj Yoga every day morning remind, remind, remind who I am. Not create a new me. Huh. Not create a new father. No. Or don't get tell anybody else to adopt you. No. You're already a rich man's uh, son. son. You forgot. The child just got separated from the father. Not that the child was born to poor parents and is now looking for another father. The child just got separated. The minute the child remembers that I am a rich soul and child of that richest being, then how long till I become the master of his property? Right of a second. One thought away. That's all that it is. One thought away. So when we are talking about creating new sanskars, we just need to remind ourselves very patiently, this is my original sanskar. This is my original sanskar. Some people say, I just can't love people. I don't know. I hate people around me. So then they just have to tell themselves, I am a loveful being. I am love. Yes. Once, twice, thrice, every day, one month, two months, and very soon that file which had gone way below, it started. It started See, it's getting emerged. Very, uh, it's quite a painful situation when you can't love people and so many people use the word uh, something like dry. They said, you know, I become dry. Yeah. I don't become friendly with anybody. I don't, where is that love? I've lost, I can't love people. Yes. See the yearning to love somebody and get yes. love. Yes. And why? Because somewhere, some past experience, someone did not respond in the right way. And that's why and that time, in that past experience, and that past experience can be in any costume. In that past experience, I created hurt. And when I created hurt, I shut myself. And I say, I don't want to get close to anybody. No more love. Because love creates, creates hurt. Pain. So I shut myself. The soul created this belief system. And now when the costume changed, it already came into this new costume with this belief system. I don't love people because in the past somewhere it had created a thought people hurt me when I loved them. Now I work with myself and I say people can't hurt me. I choose to create hurt so let me love and even if somebody behaves differently it doesn't matter because getting hurt or not is going to be my choice. Perspective change, past sanskar erased and the original one emerged. I am a loveful being. Love is very natural to everyone. It's just the fear of getting hurt which blocks it. So any acquired sanskar, fear, hurt, will block that file of love below. And once I tell myself, these acquired sanskars are my choice, so no fear. Now let the original ones come out. It's just like once you meet with an accident when you're driving, you can't stop driving. But that's what so many of us do. Fear can paralyze you. You just don't take up the courage to try that thing again. This has comfort zone. I will not drive again. I will not make friends again. I will not work sincerely again because people just criticize They don't you. want to cross the same spot where they met with an accident. Yes, yes. Because that spot, it's over. It can't give you another accident. Same thing. Let us say that to ourselves, that it's not going to happen again happened in the past and in the past I got hurt because I was not aware. So now this time that will not happen again but other things will happen, can happen, might happen but now I am the master. I have the knowledge. So I will handle it well because I have a choice and I have the power. Love, wonderful sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.